Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on parameters. Okay, before you actually come to this video, I strongly urge you guys to take a look on the part 7 series discussion on S parameters. Basically, this is actually a continued video from the part 7 series discussion. On the part 7 series discussion, I have shown you an example actually how to convert S parameters to A, B, C, D parameters. This video, I will concentrate on the cascading circuit. So basically with the converted A, B, C, D parameters for the individual circuit, I will be able to cascade them together in order to achieve the overall A, B, C, D parameters. From the overall A, B, C, D parameters, then I will show you how can we actually convert the A, B, C, D parameters to A, parameters so basically this will be the objective of this video this will be the part 8 series discussion on s parameters so guys if you're keen to know more about s parameters okay please take a look on the playlist under the description over there you will be able to find a series of discussion on s parameters this is my email if you have any question regards on this discussion please drop me an email Okay, or if not, if you want to have a faster response, you are always welcome to ask me through the comment. Okay, before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by like this video. For those who are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. Okay, so this is the example okay, which I have shown it to you on the part 7 series discussion. So basically, we have two independent S parameters for the VR and also the lossless lines, as you can see from here. So the question is basically, how can I actually obtain the overall S parameters? Okay, so therefore, on the part 7 series discussion, I have shown you the step 1. Okay, which is to convert the S parameters to A, B, C, D parameters. So I have the A, B, C, D parameters of the VR basically converted from the S parameters okay, for the VR, okay, which is illustrated here. Okay, so again, from here, you can see that I actually convert the S parameters into the A, B, C, D parameters for the transmission line as it show it over here. Okay, so these are all done from part 7 service discussion. Okay, so if you are not sure, Okay, please see this part 7 series discussion. This video, I'm, I'm going to continue on the step 2, which is to multiply the A, B, C, D parameters. Okay, so basically, I have the VR, I have the transmission line, and in order to calculate the overall circuit or the cascade circuit, I actually need to multiply the 2 by 2 matrix of the VR, multiply by 2 by 2 of the transmission line. So basically, these are what I have found it earlier on here. So basically, I multiply, I will get this number here. Let me show you a detail how I actually can do this multiply of this A, B, C, D parameters here. Okay, so this is what I have shown it to you. So basically, this will be for the A, B, C, D for the VR. This will be the A, B, C, D for the transmission line. So basically, what we do is basically we have this so-called horizontal line followed by the vertical line. So 0 0.79 multiplied by minus 1, which is here. So I have this J22.22 multiplied by this J 0.00129, which is shown you over here. So this will be the A term for the cascade, okay, the overall cascade A term. Okay, as for the B term, okay, basically for B term will be, I need to have this versus this. So basically 0 0.790 multiplied by J 0 0.3228, which is shown over here. After that, I need to multiply this J 22.22 multiplied by minus 1, which is shown you over here. So how to get the C term? C term will be, again, this will be the horizontal, this will be the vertical. So this J 0 0.016686 multiplied by minus 1. Okay, and then 0 0.790 multiplied by this term here, which is shown here. How can I actually get the D term? Okay, D term will be, this will be the horizontal, this will be the vertical. So basically J 0 0.01686 multiplied by J 0 0.3228, which is shown over here. Another term will be 0 0.790, okay, multiplied by minus 1, which is shown here. So basically, with the apps that I show you to you on the part 7 series discussion, you can easily calculate this overall, okay, A, B, C, D parameters. So basically, this will be the overall A, B, C parameters, basically the cascade of the VR and transmission line. This is the overall A, B, C, D parameters. So on the step 3, I'm going to show you to you how can we actually convert this A, B, C, D back to S parameters. 
Okay, so basically, these are the different set of equation now. Okay, so earlier on, I showed it to you okay, how we actually can convert S parameters to A, B, C, D parameters. Okay, so now I'm going to show you to you how can we actually convert okay, basically from A, B, C, D parameters into S parameters. Okay, which means that these are the final okay, of the VR and the transmission line cascade together. So this is the overall okay, A, B, C, D parameters that I found it earlier on. Okay, so again, how to find my S11? Okay, I have this set of equation. Okay, so this set of equation, I put it here. So what is my B? B is minus J21.9650. Minus Zn, Zn will be 50. Okay, this D is actually here, 0 0.7954. Okay, which is uh where, let me see. Uh, here, this will be the D term. Minus A, okay, A is minus 0 0.79, as you can see here. Okay, and then plus, this will be the C term. Okay, C term is minus J0.01686 here. And Zn will be equal to 50. Okay, same thing for the bottom one. Okay, so this will be the B term. Okay, B term is minus j21.9650 here okay this will be plus 50 bracket here this will be the d term okay d term is minus 0 0.7954 which is here okay and plus okay uh this will be plus a term okay a term will be 0 point minus 0 0.79 okay which is here and then uh, i'm going to plus c z n so this term will be the c this will be the z n okay so if you make use of the Apps, you can easily achieve this answer okay but over here you can see that i do it a long way okay so just in case you are not allowed to use your apps in your exam so this is how you're going to do okay for me okay i will be doing this first okay so basically i will do this whole part here okay i'll multiply these two and i combine them to get this number same for this part here i will be uh so called uh, combine these two parts into one over here Okay, so basically over here after that I multiply by the 50 inside. This will be the outcome. And this is will be my S11 value. Okay, so basically this is the overall S11 value. Okay, because of time constraint, I think you should be able to understand what I'm trying to say. I will go a little bit quicker so that I have more time for the conclusion discussion. Okay, as for S12 will be the same. So basically S12, the formula is over here. I copy down here. So you can see that 2 multiplied by Zn, this is 50. And this will be AD okay, minus BC. Okay, below is actually what I have achieved early on. So uh, early on, what is below, you can see that they are all the same. So I just copy the whole chunk. Okay, in uh, SM, you should minimize the time. So basically, the below thing, which I have showed to you early on, I just copy here. So I just concentrate to do the top term here. And basically from there you after that you actually can conclude that S12 okay overall S12 will be by this number here. Okay, as for S21, okay, they are the same. So S21 is over here. I just copy down here. This is 2 times 50. Below will be the same, will be having this value here. And you punch your calculator. Okay, this will be the overall S21 value. Same for S22. Okay, again, this will be the value over here. Okay, so below value I have calculated. So this will be my concentration. And from here, you can see that I actually obtained the S22 okay, from the overall ABCD parameters. So from here, you can see that I have successfully okay, convert the ABCD parameters into S parameters, as you can see from here. So early on, I showed it to you, I managed to calculate the overall ABCD parameters. Then with that, I actually convert the ABCD parameters to S parameter. So basically, this will be the answer for the question. This will be the overall S parameters with the VR and the transmission line connected. Okay, let's do a quick conclusion. Again, before I do a quick conclusion, okay, please help to like this video. Okay, when more of you guys actually like this video, this video will have a higher chances to reach up to a larger audience. So guys, help me okay, press the like button now. If you have learned something, okay, please consider to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Okay, let's quickly do, do a quick conclusion. Okay, what we actually have done on the part 7 and also the part 8 series discussion. On the part 7 series discussion, I have a VR. Okay, the VR is given the S parameters. So basically, these are all the S parameters for the VR. I have a transmission line. And again, I have the S parameter for the transmission line, as you can see from here. So basically, from here, you can see that I have the S parameters for the VR. I have the S parameter for the transmission line. 
So next, okay, what happened here is basically I'm tasked to join them together and I'm tasked to find the overall S parameters. So basically over here, you can see that in order to achieve this, I need to do these three steps. Step one, convert S to A, B, C, D parameters. Step two, okay, I actually need to multiply the A, B, C, D parameters of the VR, multiply with the A, B, C, D parameters of the transmission line. Then last but not least, I need to convert the A, B, C, D parameters to S parameters. So with this, I actually done the calculation, but let's quickly see how I actually can do. Okay, so basically, as I mentioned, this will be the S parameters. Okay, for the VR, I actually convert to find the A, B, C, D parameters for the VR, which is shown over here. Okay, so basically this is the given one. Okay, I have the S parameters for the transmission line. Again, at the part seven series discussion, I have converted the S parameters into A, B, C, D parameters. And this will be the A, C, A, B, C, D parameters for the transmission line. Okay, so next I'm going to cascade them together, which means that I actually multiply them together. And this will be the overall A, B, C, D parameters. So once I have the overall A, B, C, D parameters, then I'm ready to convert the A, B, D, C, D, A, B, C, D parameters to S parameters. So basically with this, you can see that I actually successfully calculate the overall S parameters for the VR and transmission line added together. Okay, with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Okay, please help to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you.